Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout episode 12. When we last left off, we were going to try and rescue Tandy, which is Eridesh's daughter from Shady Sands. So without further ado, let's try and do that. Let's see if we can find her first. Do you want to party? If not, put your weapon away. Oh, my bad. I'm here to talk. And hey, that's Tandy. Alright, so first and foremost, let's save the game, because you can never save too much. And let's talk to Garl, the leader of the raiders. What do you want now? I want the girl. You are barely tolerated by us. Why should we give one of our most prized possessions to you? I have something of equal value. It must be valuable indeed. Show me. <laughs> so we can trade for Tandy. $394. Really? That's all she's worth to you? Come on, man. Here, have four knives. And an SMG. Just one. Oh. Okay. That's where our barter skill has gotten so high. Our stuff is worth a lot. Here. I don't care. Where did we get this iguana from? Well, let's take one back. That's 380, 394. Let's give you that other iguana. 388. And, because I'm bad at math, let's just give you 10 bucks. Works for me. Okay. That's a good trade. So they let her out. Let's get out of here. And so now, we have Tandy. Another party member. Here's the thing about Tandy, though. If we leave and head back to Shady Sands, she will leave our party. But if we don't, she'll stay with us forever. But the second we go back to Shady Sands, she leaves. And I don't know if she can even use stem packs. But we're going to give her a couple, just in case. And Tandy's not very good, honestly. I just kind of like to grab everybody. We can, however, give her this gun. And she will use it. It's one of the only guns she will use. That's why I hung on to it and its ammo. And actually, while we're here, I think I need to give Ian some more stem packs. Yes, I do. Let's give you eight to round you out at ten. And I think I have some ammo for you. I do have some ammo for you. Take it all. So let's save it. Let's head to Vault 13. Because we don't want to go back to Shady Sands just yet. Remind boy message. Water supply is running low in Vault 13. Find the water chip quickly. Well, what a coinky dink. So we've been gone from the vault for a little, right at two months, a little over two months, something like that. Vault of the future. We can go wherever we want, but let's just start back at the cavern entrance. Let's show these rats how far we've come. Oh, and we gained 500 experience points for freeing Tandy. What's up, rats? And I'm pretty sure that's the weapon that Tandy will use. So, I didn't want to waste ammo on that thing. So let's see if she will pull that gun out and take a shot. Come on, Tandy. Let's kill these rats. They think they're so smart. Solving their mazes for their cheeses. I'm surprised we're... Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I'm surprised we're even hitting things. And then we missed, so... Squeak! Yeah, get him, dog meat. Uh, I think she uses that gun.
I don't know that she's going to get a chance to. Yeah, you guys can take care of this. Like I said, she's not especially good in any way, shape, or form with any of the weapons. But, you know, why not have her? Until she poses a problem. We'll get rid of her when she poses a problem. Come on, there's one left. Fight me, rat. I'll kick way above your head and you'll die. Maybe. Or I'll just miss you a lot. Hey, she killed a rat. But see, that pistol's pretty good, and when she can hit, she does well. When she doesn't, it's a gun we weren't ever going to use anyways, so what's the harm? Let's see if we can get in now. Hey, Ed. You see Ed. Ed's dead. And into the vault. Heard about some of these places before, but never been in one. Seems nice and clean. A little too clean for my tastes. Uh, is anybody going to be mad if we look in here? Oh, two flares. Hi, Kerwin Error. It's good to see you again. Hi, Kerwin Error. <laughs> so I guess that's our, our surname is Error. I am Error. Was that from Zelda 2? Medic, welcome back, Kerwin. How goes the search? It's going okay. Good. Keep up the good work. Let me know if you need anything. I need help. You seem okay to me. Come back if you need some healing. Oh, good. Now there's just extra people to block our path. Okay, just... Ooh, let's just go. That is one thing that's annoying. These doors are constantly opening and closing, and you have to constantly reopen them. Let's check out the second floor of our vault. Vault 13. Redhead. The only redhead. That means she. Oh, no, oh, I take it back. There's another one. Hello, Kerwin. How fares your journey? It's going pretty well, thanks. It's good to hear that. I knew that the outside world couldn't be as bad as everyone says. I mean, our ancestors lived outside, right? But that paranoid overseer won't let us leave. So there are a bunch of different options. The Overseer is simply trying to protect us. The outside world is dangerous to the unprepared. I suppose. I always figured that he just had some sort of power trip. But I guess that he wouldn't be the Overseer if he wasn't really concerned about our welfare, would he? I guess we should just wait and see if you can find the chip. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Uh, it's fucking terrible out there, lady. I mean, yeah. Kid it out now. We went out there with just a little pistol and a knife. It was very scurry. Very scurry indeed. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. What you got to say? Hello, Kerwin. Have you found the water chip yet? No luck yet, but I know I'll find it. By the way, how are you doing? I'm afraid of what's happening. Someone's been stealing water, and now everyone's on edge. Who would do such a thing? people have been accused and fights have broken out over it, but nobody really knows. Okay, thanks. So I guess we need to check into the water thief. Just looking to see if any of these people have names. So there's Lyle. And then we have Upset Vault 13 Citizen. Let's talk to Lyle. Oh, Lyle. Hello, Kerwin. Hello, Lyle. How are you holding up? 
Not so good. Ever since I had one of my water rations stolen the other day, things have been going downhill. Everybody's getting scared, and nobody knows what to do. I'll take a look and see what I can find. Thanks. I sure hope you can get to the bottom of this, and please hurry and find a new water chip. This craziness wouldn't have happened at all if we had a working chip. He's not wrong. But also, I would have never left, and done good things, presumably. Hello. How goes the search? Pretty well. Well, that's good to hear. Keep up the good work, I guess. He doesn't seem that upset to me. So, is there anywhere else to go? Anyone else to talk to? Doesn't look that way. So, I guess let's go to the third floor. Hey, so what's in here? Vault 13 Citizen. The Water Guard. So we've got a Water Guard now? Hello, Kerwin. Hello. How are you doing? I'm not feeling very well. Someone cracked my head with a big pipe. Went to the medic, but my head still hurts. Sure hope someone catches the jerk that hit me. Why did they do that? Well, they attacked me while I was here pretty late one night. Usually I go home by 8 or so, but I was staying late since someone had some water stolen. I was checking our supplies. Next thing I know, I wake up in the med lab with a big bump on my head. Things are getting crazy around here. Someone's going to get killed for water soon, and I don't know what we can do about it. I'll see what I can do. Alternatively, can I take some supplies? You're welcome to take supplies if you need them, since your job is so important. But please, don't take too much. We don't have much left. I won't take anything that I don't need. This is the storage room. It looks emptier than you remember it. The vault must be running out of supplies at a greater rate than you could have imagined. Supplies or just water? There's 40 things of water. And two things of water. You know what? I'm going to take the two. You could spare a little bit of water for me. So what do we got over here? Why do they have Mintats in here? First aid kit, we don't need it. Don't need the Mintats. Don't need that, because there's nothing in there. So, Jesus. God, you guys weren't kidding. You're running out of everything. There's a little bit of water, some drugs, and I am going to take your stim packs. We need every stim pack we can get. We'll probably never use them all, but we definitely need them. Can we access any of these computers to give us any good information? This is the central core. This is the heart of the computer system. Let's see what this computer says. You could glean more information from this terminal with a more scientific approach. Well, let's science at it then. The terminal is regulating vault supplies and functions and performing routine administrative work. Okay. Well, let me out of here then. What's in here? This is the security office. An officer is on duty here at all times. For what? You are not sure. Who are you? Vault 13 officer. Eh, uh, good to see you again. Is there anything that I can do for you? Yeah, I need some weapons. The Overseer has not authorized me to open the armory and get you more weapons. Sorry, but I can't help you. Please, I really need them. No, I can't do it. Alright. Who's you? Vault 13 Citizen. Vault 13 Citizen. Don't forget to see the medic if you are hurt. This is the operations room. All command and control operations are performed here. These people are the leaders of the vault. Redheaded lady. This guy. Black haired lady. Other red headed lady. Red headed lady's twin. And the overseer. So we haven't talked to him in, gah, seven or eight hours now. Let's see what he's got to say. You cannot get there. Okay. Have you found the chip? Yes. Okie dokie. One moment. The chip is initializing. There, 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 there it goes. 
Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You're welcome. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. First, let's barter. Oh. Okay. All right. So you gained 7,500 experience points for returning the water chip and saving the vault. Congratulations. You've gone up a level. You log your reports in the library computer system. You should return to the overseer to finalize your progress. This is the vault library. Learning machines are connected to the central core. They teach the inhabitants knowledge and skills. Just like plug into your brain matrix style? Or like sleeping tube like the Venture Brothers? No, oh, dog meat just stayed here. Let's level up real quick. So let's get barter where it needs to be. Let's get speech where it needs to be. And we'll sink the other ones into energy weapons. Save it real quick. And we are now level eight. Huzzah. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. Okay. About what? I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. In fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well, I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. Okay, what's that? The mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Say again? Without the confusion. Someone's making mutants. Oh. Okay. What do I need to do? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more into the breach, my friend. You have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. Nope, I'm a little lost. Well, based on the information you provided about population density, I think you should concentrate your search to the west. That's where the Brotherhood is. They might be able to tell us more. Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. Nice brow there. Not yet, but I've got some good leads. Good, but hurry. The more time they have to produce them, the harder they'll be to stop. That is true. The longer you take to do it, the more random the encounters laboratory that you deal with yet? with super mutants. Even and better. the group Tell me it's been of destroyed. super mutants that you fight gets bigger and bigger and tougher and tougher. Well, keep searching. Tell me about Vault. This is our home. We'd all be dead without it. If we care for it properly, it should last us for a long time. Tell me about water chip. It is a critical part that allows us to purify the water. Without it, we'll run out of drinking water. Tell me about mutants. I don't know anything about that. Hmm. Tell me about ninja turtles, because they're mutants. I don't know anything about that. I figured we'd have some good vids here in the background. Underneath the vault. All right. So how do we catch the water thief? Yeah, you're welcome. I'm here to help. So now, as we can see here, 
Here's the Pip Boy 2000. And we no longer have the days until we run out of water. Uh, so let's see. Vault 13. Okay, these are the maps. Status. Vault 13. Destroy the mutant leader and destroy the source of the mutants. I wonder who that is. I wonder if they'll even still give me information. So somebody stole Lyle's water rations. Let's talk to Lyle. See what else we can figure out about it. Well, well, I guess nobody cares since we got the water back. It wasn't quite what I was trying to do, but I wanted to do that quest first so I could get the XP, but I'll take it. Whatever. I ain't complaining. Goodbye, Ed. We will meet again. Poor Ed. Ed's still dead. So now, I think that we should head to the Brotherhood. It's a bit of a hike. We're probably going to have to fight some stuff on the way there. Ah! Scorpion! I don't think this scorpion knows what he's getting himself into. And I missed. Yeah, get him, Tandy. Let's get that tail. That's worth, like, ten bucks. I mean, we have ten thousand now, but... And the Brotherhood is a really cool place. Or I think it is, anyways. And let's see, we're almost there. Getting out into the real irradiated wasteland. I like how it's all old Englishy. Brotherhood of Steel. Let's put our gun away, because we are friends. A small building surrounded by a chain link fence is to the north. Menacing guards and heavy armor patrol the area. And these are gentlemen in power armor. We have a paladin. And Cabot, an initiate to the Brotherhood of Steel. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? Uh, who are you? Uh, I'm Cabot, but uh, you didn't answer me. Uh, what can I do for you? I'd like to join. That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. First, do you want a barter? Nope. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Hmm. Did you do a quest before you joined? Uh, not exactly, but, um, things are a bit different right now. So, tell me what's different. I'm sorry, I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, hello again. You decide what you wanted. Can I ask you a few I'm questions? I'm sorry, I, I really can't. Oh, or not. Well, hello again. You decide what you wanted. I want to join the Brotherhood. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Okay. Like what? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order. That's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. Okay. You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. So... I can't believe it. They're sending him down there? So, you took the famous glow quest. <laughs> the glow? What's that? The glow, as it is known to topsiders, was supposedly a place where some of the most advanced weapons of that time were developed. At least, that's what it says in the ancient writings. Now, as fast, sir, as any of us can tell, I don't know what that is. I guess it's supposed to be as best. So, now, as best as any of us can tell, it's a big crater filled with rads. I think the elders sent Brotherhood wannabes down there just to get rid of them. Others? There was others before me? Others have tried. We never heard from them again. Hell, you almost talked me out of even wanting to join the Brotherhood. 
Don't get me wrong, the Brotherhood's a great place to join. It's by far the safest place to live in the wastes. No place else will you find better weapons and armor. We serve technology, and technology serves us. What can you tell me about the glow? Well, to start, it's a good 18 days travel to the southeast from here. And then there's the radiation. There's a reason none of us have ever gone to the Ancient Order. If you don't have Radex, you'll be cooked before you even know what hit you. Let me get this straight. Why does the Ancient Order have two names? Most topsiders think that it's just a big radioactive hole. Thus, the name became The Glow, or some even call it The Hot Spot. Never heard anybody call it that but you, buddy. We in the Brotherhood know the truth. According to the ancient writings, this place was the source of all our technology. And who knows what may still be there. I got another question for you. The dangers are... Okay, I did all that. Butter? No. Thanks for the info. Bye. Hmm. So, will the radiation kill my friends while we're there? Hmm. That's a tough one. You know what? We're gonna save it. And we're gonna test it out. So how far away is the glow? Uh, let's go south. 18 days. Let's see, it was the 5th when we started. Stop here so it'll follow us again. That'll send us right past the hub. Past the boneyard. Uh, a group of hostile gangers burst forth. Which one's Ian? Raider. 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 Ian? No. Ian. Raider. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for the ones that are farther away. Let dog meat and the others handle the close-up ones. Good job, Ian. Ian, look out behind you, your clone! You have so many evil clones, Ian. Uh, okay, Ian's safe. What are these guys even... Th Come on. I guess the safety and numbers thing probably made sense. And now they're just punching this lady. Get him, dog meat. Sick him, boy. Tandy ain't having none of your bullshit. Uh, I hope I don't hit Tandy. Alright, cool. Well, that was significantly less scary than I originally thought it would be. Uh, let's... Let's gather all the things. As if we don't have enough money, anyways. Actually, a lot of the stuff that we're gonna try and get at the Brotherhood of Steel is either super expensive or super hard to get. Like, you know, we want power armor. I mean, everybody wants power armor. So, oh, he had a bunch of stuff. I guess he was the raider boss. But power armor? Power armor's not cheap. I'm at my maximum weight capacity again. What do you know? Ian! Usually, near the end of the game, I have these guys so loaded up on ammo and other random things that they can't carry anything else. Because they have maximum weight capacities, too. Which is weird, considering there's no actual menu to get their stuff. It must have been something that they just forgot about, and then it's an afterthought. They were like, oh, uh, we'll just let them steal off them and plant stuff on them. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> no, search the body. Alright, reload. Let's hoof it. 
uh, the long way. And uh, we want to save it. There is so much interesting stuff. Oh, not the bro. Uh, nope. Glow. Go to the glow. Alright, so we've been walking for 10 days now. That's actually good, because we need to stop outside of the range of all of the terrible radiation. Because the radiation will straight up just kill you in here. So we need to stop outside of the range of radiation before we head to the glow so we can take our Rad X. Because we're going to be in there a little while. And uh, it will totally, totally kill us. Yep, let's keep picking up these rad scored being tails. Still at my maximum weight capacity? I guess I do have a lot of random stuff. Alright, Tandy, hold this stuff. Hold these guns. Hold these guns. That gun, and that red scorpion tail. And some drugs, in case you want to take some drugs. We're just going to put that on her, too. I keep forgetting you can hold down and go through this stuff really quick. All right. So we're actually going to save it right here. We're just going to start us a new save. Quick say, quick say, quick save three. All right, we're going to have to pause it here, and we will be back next time, where I hope you join me. I very much appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you then. Bye.